Okay. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Uh, this is part 18. Uh, not 18. This is uh, part 19 of my Hocus Pocus. Oh, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello everyone. This is part 19 of my Hocus Pocus dollhouse videos. All right, so I'll try to insert a picture here on this too, just so you can sort of see. For the handrail, I'm just going to use pieces of, um, uh, this is like a cardboard, little thin cardboard. And it'll be really weak, but of course after I get these uh, little spindles placed under here, that'll help really strengthen it up. Now I don't even know if I talked about these in, at all, but these are just little wooden square pieces that I had cut and then I'm going to run the handrail down here and then just glue in these little spindles and also once this is all done I'll of course mod podge it um, I was trying to think if there was anything I wanted to say about the movie itself. I know a lot of people will do videos and try to do like little trivia things about uh, whatever they're making. Um, you know one one thing, you know I've always liked this movie since I was little and I remember in school, I don't know what grade I was in, really really young, me and a friend, me and him would play Hocus Pocus on the playground. Um, We'd run around pretending we were on brooms and just quoting, saying some of the things they would say in the movie. And even at home, when I'd come home and be at home, I would play Hocus Pocus on my playground and I would sit in the swing and be swinging on the swing with a broom between my legs, pretending I was flying. And I, I always had a broom with a... Uh, black cape and of course I had glasses so I probably looked more like Harry Potter than a witch but um, for some reason when I was little I never really got into Harry Potter I didn't get into Harry Potter until I was much older um, whoops I'm putting too much glue on this I don't I just need to do the bottom first see I put those little I'm not even sure if that's showing it shows over here but I'm just gonna glue these down and I'll have to kind of work slow on this make sure that tacks up there do like one at a time it might be better if I do this with hot glue so they don't fall over and then I can go back in with some uh, wood glue and I ain't even paying attention to what I'm doing that's not even where I want that let me uh, I want to just wipe this off and hot glue these down here just with a tiny, tiny little dot of hot glue. So let me get the glue gun out and get it heated up. Alright, I think I've got my glue gun hot enough now to just barely um, get a little dot there. I don't want a whole lot. These I can do however, as long as they look spaced out even enough. Um, yeah, it's alright. Looks good enough. Um, and then this other side, I could uh, measure it, but I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm pretty good at just eyeballing things, so. Alright, now I've got these little parts cut out. Uh, let me make sure that one goes on this side. This one goes over here. Um... Let me see. I'm actually I'm going to cut this one down. It's a bit long. So. Alright. So I'm just going to put a little dot of glue here. And. Uh, I have no idea. If this is. Like. Um, what am I trying to say? I don't know. It'll uh, come together much better once I can uh, 
feel like this thing might be too short or it might just need to go up more I'm gonna rip that off actually I shouldn't do that but maybe I should uh, make some little marks nobody's gonna see that that'll be under under the bottom okay let's just start at the top I guess it don't matter how you get it done but that's looking really cool I love how that's gonna turn out um, and then there's gonna be some little details that I'll do just to make this look even better alright so in this picture um, there's like a little raised detail up here so what I'm going to do is just cut another strip of this a little skinnier than what that part is and just glue it right along the top just to give it a raised uh, look and also there's going to be little squares I mean I'm just cutting this one this ain't the actual square I'm going to use but I'm going to cut out little squares of my cardboard and put right on top like that just to give that some detail and then do an even smaller square um, on top of that one and just keep raising them up just to give them that little cap that they have alright so I have actually ripped up these little pieces so anyways I uh, went and I cut these because I felt like these were, uh, I think these are the ones that go here. I felt like these were too tall. Uh, I don't even think I cut this one at all. Dang it, I wanted to go cut this one. I missed this one all together. I didn't cut either one of these. I've got them marked. Ugh, I'm going to have to go cut these real quick. Okay, so I got that one cut, or those other two cut. And I'm going to just glue these back. Try to glue them back in the same spots they were. Um, let me see. There's one back in this corner. Yeah, see that handrail should go almost to the top of that. And of course, like I said, I will put those little decorative pieces up here. Um... I've got these little pieces of square cardboard cut out that I'm going to glue right here just to give that a little detail and I've got that placed on all of these and then of course I've got to still glue it all with a little bit of wood glue where all these little pieces meet um, and I thought about running a piece of this right along here but it really needs more so um, I've got a little wood glue out here I've just got a little bit out on the top or the bottom of this cup and I'm just going to take that wood glue and I'm going to go in all these little places anywhere that this meets I'm just going to go in here and even down the um, handrail where that little strip is attached let all this dry and then come back and finally get to paint it all right so this is the next morning um, all the glue that I put on here has dried and it's really made all this really um, strong and it looks really good today I I like it better today after I've um, you know been away from it for a little bit um, it was such a pain to do this I'm trying to get all the pieces cut and glued but I think it looks really really good now um, now to do the paint I'm going to use Mod Podge and just some brown paint this one says gloss I don't really want it glossy so I'll go pick another color but um, just mix these two together and that'll uh, of course make it even stronger I think anything that'll strengthen it up which it's pretty strong enough now but I just like knowing that Mod Podge will be on there and just help glue it together even better um, so I'll get it painted up and then we'll check it out 
All right, so here is the little handrails after I've got them painted. Um, now they're a little wonky. They're not really perfect. And back here, it kind of goes downward, and I purposely uh, did that to this area back here just to look like it's broken up and not really been fixed over the years. Um, but I really love how the color is. I like how it's turned out. And later I will do a video. When the whole project is done, I'll do video just showing side-by-side -side comparison of the, the real house uh, compared to what I've done. Now, of course, you know, I'm not trying to make it look identical. I'm just trying to get it close enough to look, you know, like the house. But, of course, there's little details that I'm going to pick at. I'm even going to do a video where I'm just going to pick on my own work and pick out all the flaws um, and pick out things that I do like so that'll be another video that I can do later on but um, I do like how this has turned out even if it ain't perfect I mean it's a little crude a little primitive but that's just kind of my way of doing things anyway so I like how it's turning out and I think the overall look is really good um, so now I'll just check my list and see what else I can work on because um, there's several other little things that I want to try to do in this video. Alright, so um, I don't know if that shows up good. I will try and put this picture actually on the screen. Um, like if you look here, here are the steps, of course. And then here's this little uh, thing, this little built-out wall piece. And then right in this corner is supposed to be a little corner shelf um, that is just sitting in this little corner so that's what I'm gonna make now and again I'll put this picture on the screen um, so you can see it a little bit better alright so there's the picture and to make the back of this shelf I'm going to use this is actually a strip off of that Hocus Pocus cereal box and I thought it'd be kind of cool to use this as the back of that shelf. Alright, so I've got these two little pieces um, cut out. This is what's going to make the corner shelf. And um, I'm looking at my camera. It looks like my battery's about to die, so I'm going to have to charge it. But let me show you. Hopefully I've got enough time to do this part I'm just going to butt this little shelf up into this corner like that and then lay this ruler across here and then mark it I'm just going to mark that and then Cut that little triangle out and then I can make three or four of those however many needs to come up through here and I'll just cut these out just like I did there I mean I can cut this one out and then just trace this one um, to make the rest of them but that's just a real easy way to make a little shelf to know the size you just put your two pieces together butt it up in there and then draw your mark across here all right so i've charged the camera a little bit and we were at this little piece and i've got these little corners cut out they're not very good but they'll work and then i've cut out this little piece now this piece is cut as wide as that so it kind of looks like a little tent um but this piece will come in later. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Um, but I'm just going to take some of my tacky glue and glue these little shelves in place. And after I tacky glue them, I'll probably even stick my little uh, stick pin through here just to help hold that on. And it'll go through there. So I'll do that. All right, so here is the little shelf, the little uh, corner shelf, and it'll just stand up like this 
for the this piece of cardboard that I'd cut out I've drawn um, this little pattern on it here I'm going to cut out in here and leave this little edge and then I'm going to glue that on to the front just to have like a little decorative um, facing so it ain't just so plain and uneven alright so here is that little shelf and to do one more little detail, I'm going to, I cut these little circles out of, um, with a uh, hole punch. And I'm just going to put a little dot of glue right here in the corners. And just put a little circle in the uh, corners here just to give some little carved um, looks. Like maybe some sort of little decoration they carved into it. And I'm going to actually do two. Just so it's raised up a little higher so it really does stand out. Um, so I'm just going to have that on there as a little decoration. And I'll get this all painted up. But the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go over... Um, you know in some little places like on the sides over here with some wood glue and then maybe up along the top with some wood glue uh, let me see if I can get that to focus um, I don't know if it's gonna really stand out but up here there is a wooden rake and I'm gonna make that little wooden rake um, and I'll try to post this picture on the screen so that it'll be a little bit uh, more noticeable this is a really good picture, by the way, that shows um, a lot of the things that are in the house. But um, to make this, I've just bought this little piece of wood that is uh, from the craft store. And I've just cut a little square. I mean, I've measured it up to He-Man, making sure that it's not too big or too small. I've made this one big enough to put um, five little pegs across here and this is really little I've had to use these tiny little drill bits to drill these holes in here um, and this is just really uh, fragile little wood but I've just drilled holes in it like you see put a handle in there and the handle is like a little barbecue stick sort of thing I found these at a craft store and then these little pegs that are going to go, um, this one ain't actually a barbecue stick, it's just a little dowel rod thing. And it's a little bit thicker than what the pegs are going to be. The pegs are actually made from a barbecue stick. And I made the, hole, the holes go all the way through, just so they go in far enough to be strong. And of course I will wood glue those in there. So let me do that. And there it is. I've just uh, made them flush on the back. And then later when that dries a little bit better, I'll sand it down. Make that look a little nicer. But um, that's a pretty simple little thing. And of course I'll paint this um, to look weathered. So there's that little rake. That'll just be one of the little things that I'll hang on the wall. And actually I need to look at it a little better. There may actually be like a little cross piece that um, might need to come down like that right in this space. I've cut out this little shape and this will glue right to the back of the rake and then this point of this triangle will hook right up here on the handle so that will give me that look that I want to have those little uh, support pieces and I just thought that looked so good and then I thought well I should probably show that because that was such an easy way to uh, make this little rake I just kind of measured out this part to go on the back and then drew a triangle I laid this down on the cardboard and I just uh, laid it down at the bottom where it's flat and then I just drew a triangle kind of like that I mean that's a really sloppy version of it but that's basically what I did 
and then I just cut out this little piece here which is how you see it here and after I saw how cool that looked I thought well, I gotta show how I did that so I'll just glue that on with some of my tacky glue and that just looks really really good it looks way better with this than just like that because that just looks like not that exciting but this just makes like a whole new thing it just makes it look way way better so I just wanted to show that then I'll paint it and get it hung on the wall this ladder is the next thing I'm gonna work on um, you can see it here where Sarah is um, I think we see Sarah at it first and this leads up to where Winifred's bed is and then here later uh, Thackeray Binks is um, hanging on to it right before they turn him into the cat so um, I'm gonna make this little ladder which I've done here and it's just a simple little dowel rod with holes drilled through it and then a smaller dowel rod for the little foot uh, step pieces um, and I thought this was gonna be really hard and it's not exactly it's a little bit crooked I've been trying to flatten it out because it was kind of twisted um, it's really hard to get your holes drilled straight across to where these line up um, but I was I managed to do that and of course I've got to make two so I've got two more uh, bigger dowel rods here that I'm just going to drill the holes through and then I've got the smaller kind of like the barbecue skewer that's going to go through there to do that so I've just got to make this one and of course get these painted up and then something else I did was I took a knife and I just kind of carved uh, a little bit on this so they're not so perfectly uh, round I wanted them to look more man-made I guess you'd say uh, or make them look like they're actually carved uh, from a axe or whatever so I did go in there and just kind of whittle those around to make them look a little more rustic and I'll probably do that a little bit more to them and then I'll get them painted and put in place alright so here is that little shelf after I got it finished um, I did glue some little things to it and I decided to glue stuff down just because I don't plan on ever really moving it once I get it placed now I probably won't glue the furniture down but the little small things that are sitting on the furniture I'd rather have those glued down um, and then here's the back of it where I would glued Winifred to it so I just think that's kinda cool to have that in there as a little hidden uh, Easter egg I guess they call it um, but of course she'll be hidden so she ain't really standing out here's my little ladders now one of them goes here and this is the one where we see Sarah and Thackeray uh, leaning on this one. Um, and then up here on this level, um, the, this level I made up myself. I don't think they actually had a third level. Because when you're looking up at Max, uh, when he's standing on the balcony or this loft, you can see straight up through here to this window that's up here so I mean it that sh tells you that there's no floor there or anything above there so that was just my little made-up part but um, since I did make a third loft that's what the um, second ladder is for and it is going to go right here and that's how you get up to that level um, so of course back here we have those steps where you can go up to here and then you can also go up this way just like it showed in the movie and then I've made an extra ladder um, you know to go up to that spot so that's how this side's looking and then of course the mill wheel uh, is something I'm wanting to finish um, I guess that and painting the floor or just touching up the floor uh, are the last two things I gotta do and this side will be done um, I do need to touch up some paint and like paint the insides of the shutters so there's just little things to do but other than um, you know the touching up the floor um, and I'll have to actually watch the movie again just to make sure I'm not missing a big 
key piece. Now there is a bookshelf, or not necessarily a bookshelf, but some sort of a shelf that'll go along this wall here that I'll have to work on. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll watch over the movie again and then see if there's anything I need to add. Now of course there's a lot of little props that I'll make or buy or make and buy uh, to go in here. So I'll do that and start working on that next week.